thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 16. I've been asked lately, where do you find um, the different backgrounds and colored walls, textures for your sessions? And I'm going to share with you a tip that, um, that I use. Basically what I've done is I'll go to a remote area of the city that I live in or cities beside me to the left and right and go and look around in their industrial section for different textured walls, different colored um, brick, all that kind of fun stuff. And I'll drop down the intersections where I have found these spots and noted the time of day that they would be shaded. So um, if you can figure that out, it's always good to know where the sun rises and sets in your neighborhood and um, to know basically where the shade will be because I always shoot in solid shade. Always being on the lookout means just keeping your eyes open to possibilities of shots. Right now, um, I'm in a hotel in uh, Kingston and um, if I was shooting a wedding, I would be, you know, arrive a little bit earlier, look around and see what's available. So this is from the window view of the hotel. And um, looking across the street, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I know it looks like a pretty busy street there, but um, you always wanna look for places with solid shade. So looking over here, you'll see this antique market it has a nice uh, taupe color wall and there is about um, probably a f two feet of shade um, in front of the building right now. So you could get the, like, the guys lined up there if you're shooting a wedding or um, if you have the bride, you could walk over there and do some really nice shots. Moving the camera to the right, um, there's the white um, building there, the paint's kind of peeling off and you've got the green strip there and uh, that would be kind of cool for photos. Plus you've got um, the shade there against the, um, the barn. Now if you look over here, this is really cool. In that back area, now right in between um, those trees, there's the white uh, part of the building showing through. And um, I know there's graffiti, but you could crouch down, block the graffiti and get some really cool shots with the wood and uh, the texture from the leaves. Um, looking at the sign of this hotel as well, um, there is a water fountain there that is totally shaded, which would be very pretty for kids. Um, all in front is, uh, is shaded, so with the stones there, which would be very nice as a backdrop as well. So, so far, just in this little area, I would have one, two, three with the green, um, four totally different looks in a matter of, uh, of you know, 20 feet of each other. So um, yeah, pretty cool. So that's what you wanna do. When you arrive, arrive a little bit early, see whatever's walking distance around the hotel that is in solid shade and uh, figure it out. As you can see by this shot, we're in a, uh, a billiards um, games room at the hotel and you use the light to your advantage. So get creative, look around, see what you can use. Right now the camera is positioned on a, um, on a reflective game surface so I get the, um, the lights on top reflected in front of me which is a pretty cool shot. So again in a billiards room you could have the most amazing um, photography. So yeah, thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. Keep your eye open, look around, see what you can find and experiment. Thanks for joining us for Tuesday's tip and have a wonderful day. Wave goodbye, Jacob.